In the past, when we converted from a Cartesian form into spherical form, we did it by um, by making change by making the change of variables. Now, every time you make use of the change of variables, you would need to make some sort of adjustment. So, in order for this side to be the same as this side, you would need to stick this uh, this adjustment, and this adjustment turns out to be called the Jacobian. And the way we obtained this this adjustment was by spending a lot of time looking at the geometry behind it. So a small change in um, in the radius. So a small change in the radius, small change in the radius, uh, and a small change in the angle in the angle phi, a small change in the angle phi, and a small change in the angle theta. Will, uh, a small change in the angle theta. Well. A small nudge in these three components would result in this kind of a relationship, and we've already done this. And I, I'm expecting you to, um, to 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 know this by now. So we would need to stick this adjustment, and this adjustment turns out to be called the Jacobian. Um, we we did it by by using um, by spending a lot of time looking at the geometry behind it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can just obtain this thing. So I'm going to show you how. When you make a small, when you make um, the change of variables, you can just blindly compute the determinant, and it will just give you this, rather than having to spend a lot of time looking at the geometry behind it. So, in this video, we are just going to blindly compute the um, the determinant of this thing here, and then it will lead us to that to our Jacobian. Okay, and um, you would need to go beyond calculus three to fully understand why this thing here works for the time being I'm I'm just asking you to accept it for the time being okay so let's let's blindly compute the um, so so let's just blindly compute the determinant and it will should it should give us this thing here so blindly compute the determinant so every time you make use of um, the change of variables blindly compute the um, the X with respect to the radius so looking at x, when you compute this, um, differentiate x with respect to to the radius. So if you differentiate this with respect to the, to the radius, it would just simply give you this. So um, so this whole thing here will then give us this thing here. And uh, differentiate the x with respect to phi. So differentiate the x with respect to phi. That will then give us this thing here. Differentiate x with respect to theta. It will then give us this thing here. Differentiate this with res differentiate y, differentiate y with respect to the radius. So that will then just give you this thing here. So uh, so this thing equals this, and well, differentiate everything, and it should give you these things here. And uh, and then and then and then you you would. Uh, you would compute the determinant of this whole thing here. So remember, that our normal our normal method would be this. Hang on, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, uh, plus, minus, plus, and it was uh, to 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 compute the determinant of this. It was um, this thing, and then looking and then discard, discard, and then you would look at this thing here. And then it would be this times this take away this times this. That would then give you this thing here. And then the next one would be remember it's plus minus plus. And then it was it was this thing here. So it would be minus this thing. And then you would discard, 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 and just looking at these two. So uh, so that would be this times this, which would be nothing take away this times this so that would then give you this thing here and then the uh, the last component was um, was for us to look at this so it was plus minus plus so that would be minus so that so this plus here is this plus and then you've got your minus minus and then you would discard you would discard and then you would look at this so it would be this times this and then take away this times this that would then give you this okay so so um so now if you tidy this whole thing up it should give you 
it should give you this thing and um, and then if you tie this whole thing up it would give you this and then uh, if you and it was blah 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 and then it would lead you to this okay so so rather um, rather than computing our, our standard rather than using our standard way of computing the determinant I'm going to ask I'm going to show you a, a, a cleaner way of doing it so it's normally plus minus plus and then minus plus minus and so on this thing here but then but then for this uh, scenario you can see there's a zero here there's a zero here so rather than using your rather than using this row here because of this zero let's use this row here it would be a lot easier it would be cleaner because of this zero so just just like the uh, just like what we did earlier we're going to use this row instead so it's it's plus minus and then plus so that would be cos fee cos fee and then discard discard and then it would be this times this take away this times this that would then give you uh, this whole thing here and then uh, and then and then looking at looking at this one here now remember we are using this row here it would be minus a minus that would be a plus and then uh, it would be discard 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 and then we would look at this so it would be this times this take away this times this that would then give us this so now it's just a matter of tidying this thing up so tidying this thing up hang on tidying this thing up it would be um, uh, hang on let me think uh, oh this times this whole thing here and then this times this thing here that would then give us this whole thing and then this times this this times this that would then give us this whole thing here and then uh, and then notice that you've got your your cos theta cos squared theta and sine squared theta and these are exactly the same these or exactly the same so you can factor out these these things here that's this thing here and then you've got your cos squared and then you've got your sine squared and then for for this one here notice the uh, the cos squared and the sine squared here this is exactly the same as this thing here so you can factor it out and then you've got your cos squared and then you've got your sine squared and then you can see that this thing here is just one this thing here is just one so that will then take us to here um, and then uh, and then notice that you've got your cos squared here and then you've got in a way you've got your sine squared buried in there so factor out the sine and then the sine um, and then this thing here is one so the, the point of this video is that rather than uh, using geometry to show that the Jacobian was, uh, was this, we can just blindly, every time you make use of the change of variables, you can just blindly compute the determinant and then it will give you your, your Jacobian. Okay?